Hi, I am Dr. Steven Weisberg, and I'm a dentist in West Los Angeles. In my never-ending quest to help people maintain excellent dental health, I came up with a simple way to remove plaque and help prevent bacterial infections without using medicines or chemicals. The techniques involved are two simple bedtime routines. First, it is necessary to loosen the food and bacteria between the teeth by flossing. I suggest using a floss handle with a replaceable floss head. Gently place the floss between the teeth and go as far down the root under the gums as comfortable. The floss should be pulled up against each side of the tooth, ensuring all food fragments and bacteria are loosened from the tooth's surface. This should be done two times on each tooth's surface. Reuse the floss until it breaks, rinsing with hot water after each use. After flossing the in-between tooth surfaces, we now clean the rest of the teeth with two special, commercially available toothbrushes. Here you can see the many tapered bristle tips of these brushes. I've modified one of these toothbrushes removing the two outer rows of bristles. By using the techniques I will show you in a moment, you will eliminate most of the plaque in your mouth for up to 12 hours. Not only will your mouth feel cleaner, but you will also have eliminated most of the bacteria that cause bad breath and cavities. Once you have the special brushes, Dip the full brush in very hot water to soften the bristles. Put a pea size of toothpaste on the softened brush. Now hold the brush with your fingertips. Place the brush on each section of your teeth and move the brush in 10 short back and forth motions, keeping the bristles on the teeth where you place them. For the inside of the front teeth, the brush is placed parallel to the front teeth as shown. Jiggle each tooth vertically 10 times. After all the surfaces of the teeth have been brushed as demonstrated, spit out the toothpaste but don't rinse. Then using the modified brush, softened in hot water again. Place the bristle ends on the gum line at a 45 degree angle. Then move the brush in 10 very short strokes, keeping the bristles where you position them. Count quickly to 10, keeping the movement short. Repeat the motion in each section, top and bottom, front and back, until you cover the entire mouth, inside and out. Inside the front teeth is done the same way as with the full brush. As you can see here, the delicate bristles work their way under the gums and in between the teeth disturbing and getting rid of the food and bacteria that is usually hidden from normal toothbrushing. See how this jiggling motion sends the bristle tips into the gum line. Here's an example of healthy and diseased gums. You can see these fine bristle tips getting into the deepest pocket of the gum line. Proper positioning of the bristles before you begin each section is important for this technique to work. When you first begin this technique, it's normal for the gums to bleed a bit as you are cleaning more thoroughly than you usually do with normal brushing. 
After a day or so, you will no longer experience any bleeding as the area heals quickly and is clean. You will also likely feel that your teeth are cleaner and your breath is fresher. When your gums no longer bleed during brushing or flossing, you can shorten each section to five short strokes of the brush. Afterwards, dip the brush back in the hot water and shake off the water by hitting the handle against the sink. This will straighten the bristles for the next use. The techniques I mentioned above are important for a fresh and healthy mouth, as is the tongue scraping technique discussed on my website. Remember, a healthy mouth is a healthier you, and that's worth the time it takes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit my website at brentwooddentalcare.net. If you would like to make an appointment, call my office at 310 444-9900.